Welcome to the Idea Space Podcast. I'm your host, Jen Liddy. And in today's episode, I have some truth I need to tell you about content creation. And all month, I've been talking about how to make this all a little bit easier, marketing, messaging, content creation. But one of the big truths I have put off long enough, and today, here it is. To make content creation easier on you is to remember one thing. You need to repel people with your content. Now, I know you're thinking like, Jen, you've literally spent all month telling me how to attract my audience. That, that is true, but so stick with me, okay? What we want is to repel people with our content because it's the fastest way to get rid of anyone that we're not a good fit for or who aren't a good fit for us. Because I know that there's people out there in your audience that you hold in your brain before you press publish. There's a person out there you think of who makes you cringe and you think, oh, what will this person think? And I know that it sounds horrible to repel your audience, but it's absolutely vital because I guarantee there's some random high school frenemy or some person that follows you that you were friends with 12 years ago who's not your ideal client, who's not your ideal audience member, but reads what you write or listens to what you say. And either you think they won't find it interesting or they, they'll find it irrelevant and you worry about what they think. I know that your brain twists about this. And if you hold those people in your mind when you're writing content, it really holds you back. <laughs> For me, there's a girl from high school and I think about like, what will Ginger from 10th grade gym class with Mr. Dunbar think of this? Like, oh, should I say it? What will Ginger think? But <laughs> Ginger is not my ideal client. She's not my ideal audience member. I should never worry about her because she's not going to buy from me. And her silent judgments only live inside my mind. And they do not pay my mortgage and they do not pay my car payments, right? I have to let Ginger go. I have to learn how to repel her with love by stepping into who I really am and what I stand for. So how can you do that for your audience? Let them unfollow, let them unsubscribe. What I want for you with your content is that you're so good at attracting and magnetizing the perfect for you audience member with your content that those eye rollers out there just don't matter. Because I want you to build your empire and make money and then chuckle at the people that you've repelled as you take vacation number three this year paid for by your business. So we want to be rid of the people that we're not a good fit for, and they're not a good fit for us either. This is vital for your content health, because when you're creating content, if you hold people in your mind and you're thinking of the wrong people as you're creating your content, that holds you back. It means you're not being authentic to yourself. It means you're not saying what you really stand for. For example, do you love content creation the way I love content creation? If you're not interested in content creation and marketing and growing a business and doing it in a way that feels good to you, well, then why would you be listening to this podcast? I only want to speak to people who are interested in learning how, who are ready for that, right? So get in touch with the you-ness of yourself. Do you like to curse? Curse away. Let the people who don't like it just unsubscribe. Or maybe you're a person who loves God and you want to talk about him in your content. Go for it. And anyone who's not into it will unfollow. Are you a vegan? Go ahead and preach and let the meat eaters of the world decide for themselves what to do. You don't have to hold the responsibility for all these people out there in your content. It's exhausting you. Now, you might be worried, like, well, won't people judge me? Yes, of course they will. That's what people do. Anytime you're going to be you and have a strong voice, people are going to judge you, but they are going to judge you no matter what you do. Whether you look like all of the other people out there, they'll judge you for that. Whether you step into your own voice and say what you believe in, they'll judge you for that. So just accept it. The minute you accept it and let them be repelled, you will be shocked at how much time you stop wasting because you're not holding the gingers from 10th grade in your mind anymore. You're not holding back your content creation. You're actually pressing publish and making it happen. So here, there are three ways you can magnetize your just right audience to you. Number one is to speak clearly with vigor about what you are and who you help. And honestly, if you're not doing that and you're still trying to be vanilla and please everybody, you're going to burn out from exhaustion of holding on to that responsibility. The second thing to magnetize your just right audience, you have to be who you are. And I know that sounds a little trite, but honestly, you have to find your voice or else you're just going to be swimming along in that sea of sameness. And that's just not clear for anybody who wants to find you. Third, let go of anybody not 
into it. They are not your people and they probably will never be your people. And once you release the convincing thing that you're trying to do and the pleasing thing that you might be trying to do with your content, freedom is on the other side of that. So let them go with love because not only does it get easier for you, but your content just gets tons more interesting. That is the content that your perfect audience member wants to sop up with a biscuit. I promise. So how this month can you be more you in your content? Because all I've been talking about is how to make content creation easier all month long. And here we are at the end of March. And so I'm going to ask you, what are the best practices you can put in play? Who can you let go of? How can you show up more? Talking about the things you want to talk about, saying it in the way that you want to say it. Stop trying to be like everybody else. That's the only thing you have to do at the end of this month. I appreciate that you show up for my podcast. I know there's a lot of content that you can consume. So I just want you to know how grateful I am that you are here. And thank you so much. If you could give me a review or give the podcast a review, I'd be so grateful because I'm trying to reach more people and let them know that content creation is not a one size fits all thing. And there's a lot of ways that we can approach content, marketing, messaging, and growing our business in general. So if you could take a moment and give me a review, I would really appreciate it. And if you have a friend who could benefit from hearing this, please share it with him or her. Appreciate that so much. And I will see you next week as we step into April. Woohoo! See you then. Bye.